Assalamu alaikum I am Asma Mushtaq from the Double Vibes in this tutorial I am going to find the echelon form of a matrix A and we can see here this matrix is a rectangular matrix how because the order of the matrix is actually 3 cross 4 so it's not a square matrix in the square matrix the number of rows and the columns are equal while in the rectangular matrix the number of rows and columns are not equal fine so in order to find the echelon form of a matrix what we need to do we will perform the elementary row operations what are the elementary row operations okay we can add or subtract any two rows we can scale any row of a matrix by a constant factor or by a constant multiplier all right and we can add or subtract the multiple of one row into another row okay now the echelon form of a matrix actually found by making all the entries below the pivot equal to zero so in the first row the first known zero entry is known as the pivot entry so one is the pivot over here okay and our task is to make all the entries below it equal to zero by performing the elementary row operations so considering this is r1 r2 and r3 we need to make the changes in r2 and r3 and the change in the rows is indicated by this tilted sign and the change in r2 is obtained by performing the operation r2 minus of the formula we will always put the minus sign then we have to write the entry which we want to make zero so i will write it over here and then we divide this entry by the pivot value the pivot value in this case is equal to one and that's why they always prefer the pivot value to be equal to one so that the elementary row operations become quite easier and quicker as well fine let's just simplify this exp uh, expression so it becomes r2 minus three times of r1 all right and similarly the change in r3 can be made like r3 minus 2 times of r1 by just looking at the values of the matrices okay so the first row remains unaffected we will not make any change in this particular row and now we will perform this operation r2 minus 3 times of r1 so 3 minus 3 times of 1 will give me 0. So this entry becomes 0. Then 4 minus 3 becomes 1. 5 minus 3 is 2. And 2 minus 3 is minus 1. Similarly, I will perform the second operation which will be operated on R3 and the values will be 0. So operation is R3 minus 2 times of R1. So 3 minus 2 gives 1. 4 minus 2 gives 2. While 0 minus 2 gives minus 1. 2 okay so this was our pivot value in the first row let me mark it over here and we made all the entries below it equal to 0 now we have to look at the pivot in the second row the first known 0 entry in the second row is 1 okay so this is the pivot entry and now we have to make all the entries below it equal to 0 fine since both entries are same and the operation that we need to perform is change in R3 and what is that? That is actually R3 minus of the formula then 1 divided by 1, 1 is equal to 1. R3 minus R2 will be the operation that you need to perform. And the resultant matrix will be equal to first row as it is. Then you have to write down the second row which is 0, 1. 2 minus 1 and then 0 1 minus 1 will be 0 2 minus 2 will be 0 while minus 2 plus 1 becomes minus 1 fine and we can see here now the matrix has been converted into the echelon form since all the entries below it are equal to 0 and similarly all the entry below the second pivot are equal to 0 and this is our pivot in the third row because it's a non-zero entry and it's equal to minus one this is the ref form of a matrix okay now what is the benefit of finding the ref form of a matrix we can find actually the rank of the matrix rank is defined as the number of non-zero rows of the matrix so rank in this case one 
two and three because the last entry is non zero that's why so non zero rows in a matrix can be found in the rea form of a matrix and this defines actually the rank and in this case the rank is equal to three all right from here we can also find the REF form of a matrix. Now, there is a little difference between the REF and RREF form of a matrix. In the REX form of a matrix, what we have to do, we just have to make all the entries below the pivot equal to zero. While in the RREF form of a matrix, what we need to do, we need to make all the entries above and below the pivot equal to zero. For the first case, we don't need to perform any kind of operations because it's the top entry in the row. But looking at the second pivot, we can see that there is some non-zero value present over there. So RREF form can be obtained by making the change in R1 and the operation will be R1 minus R2. So let's just perform this operation now and the change will be made in R1, okay? So 1 minus 0 is 1, then 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 2 is minus 1 and then 1 minus minus 1, it becomes plus 1, so 1 plus 2, okay? And the entries are 0, 1, 2, minus 1 and then 0, 0, 0, minus 1. So we are done for the first pivot. We are done with the second pivot. Now looking at the third pivot, we have to make all the entries above this pivot equal to zero. So that will be, that will give us the RREF form of a matrix. Fine. So let's just try to find out the operations. The first change that we need to make is in R1 and it should be what? It should be equal to R1, then minus of the formula. Then the value I want to make zero which is 2 in this case, we will divide it by the pivot which is minus 1 in this case and we have to write the row in which the pivot entry is residing which is R3. Let's just simplify it. So it becomes R1 then minus minus plus 2 times of R3. So this is the first operation that I will make or perform on R1. Similarly, the operation on R2 will be R2 then minus then minus 1 divided by minus 1 into r1 so the operation will simplify it like r2 minus r1 okay let's just perform these two operations on these rows of the matrices so the r1 will be changed by r1 plus 2 times of r2 since 1 plus 2 times of 0 doesn't change the value then same is the case over here then minus 1 it also remains as it is fine but what will happen over here this will become 0 in this case and similarly the second operation is R2 minus R1 so we have to subtract the values of R3 from R2 so R2 minus R1 just a minute this will be R3 because we are performing the operation on with respect to the pivot okay so I will get R2 minus R3 0 minus 0 is 0, 1 minus 0 is 1, then 2 minus 0 is 2, then minus 1 and then minus minus becomes plus, so it becomes 0. And hence you can see the values are 0, 0, 0 and then minus 1. Now, looking at this form, this is called the RREF form of a matrix. Why? Because all the entries above and below the pivot are zero okay thank you for watching